Online sneaker and streetwear resale platform StockX is out with a new report today on its sneaker authentication process, which comes as the company deals with legal troubles from Nike over claims of counterfeit sneaker sales on StockX. Joining us now is StockX CEO Scott Cutler. Scott, good to see you as always here. Look, you move a lot of, go- lot of goods uh, through StockX. Is there any merit to what Nike has been uh, claiming at your company? Well, we believe the original case has no merit. Their recent amendments is, are equally meritless. We have the right to use a brand's name and trademark when selling products, and that's well established under current law. But I think what's really the focus here is really the process that we go through, which is a very rigorous process that's backed by over 500 people and millions of dollars invested in a global network to authenticate products. In fact, every single product that's sold on the platform every day. And so for Nike, what they had alleged was that they had ordered pairs of Jordan 1s and what they received were counterfeit. Is there a percentage of some of the goods that move through that the company still does have to acknowledge are counterfeit because of customers who have come forward and recognize those discrepancies? We put out a report today to drive total transparency over our process around authentication. So uh, the facts are simply that we've authenticated over 35 million products that have gone through our authentication process since 2016. Um, in that in that process, we have rejected more than four hundred million dollars worth of products that didn't meet our authentication standards. I think if you just look back at the last twelve months alone, we've protected consumers by rejecting more than three hundred thousand products worth more than one hundred million dollars. And that's and that's really the focus of what we do every single day. And in the rare event where if we don't do our job of meeting that standard, the customer has the opportunity to get their money back or we actually replace for a different pair. So we're putting every single effort that we have and we're putting out this report to to really to highlight the work that we do as a marketplace, which we think is the highest standard among any marketplace uh, for authentication. In the marketplace right now, uh, I'm kind of switching gears here just a little bit because I think about what we've heard from retail companies over the course of this earnings season and where customers, quite frankly, are pulling back on some of that discretionary spending. You know, system-wide within StockX, are, are you seeing that within the data and the values even of the number of customers who are coming in or used to come in and purchase more wholeheartedly, perhaps that they're kind of pulling back on some of that spend? Well, StockX as a platform over the last number of years has grown tremendously. We have buyers in over 190 countries and territories around the world, but these are consumers today that are impacted by the war in Ukraine, supply chain issues, interest rates, inflation. And but at the same time, we're growing on top of the incredible growth that we had over the pandemic period. So where we're focused is providing a great experience for their for the consumer. But I think as you've seen across all e-commerce, uh, experiences the consumer is in a much more challenged state and a more unpredictable state than we've seen today. All that being said, we continue to grow on top of the record growth that we've had over the last numbers of years. Scott, since you since we last spoke, it looks like you've built up a, a pretty sizable NFT marketplace business. Now, do you view GameStop's impending rival into this space as a credible threat? Well, it's not a credible threat to us. You know, the NFT marketplace is an exciting new area, Web3, decentralized, providing a new opportunity for, we think, for investing in alternative asset class. Our take on NFTs is different than GIF images or digital art. Um, our NFTs are essentially a claim certificate to a physical item that's stored in a vault uh, at StockX premises. And so the NFTs that are available on StockX essentially represent the right of possession of a physical product, which is very different than most other applications for for NFTs. So we're excited about this area, but it really expands on something that's been an exciting trend for us over a number of years, which is this um, area of sneakers and collectibles and current culture is now an asset class that, it, that this next generation of consumers is really excited to invest in. How, how many people have you seen buy into the NFTs? And, and if somebody was to take possession of what they essentially have the token for, does the value of that then depreciate? Because I'm not 
you know, I don't know if somebody wears the item once they finally take possession of it physically. Well, again, so going back to the process itself, um, the NFTs are tied to physical products and the products that we chose to launch were essentially in demand, highly liquid, highly traded products. Um, they're stored in a facility and a StockX vault and effectively the right to possess that NFT trades. And, um, and we have had a few uh, transactions where people have chosen to redeem uh, that product to be able to pull it out of the vault, which they can do at any point in time. But what you'll see over time, much like you see across most of the products in the catalog, is that over time, these items that have never been worn become more and more scarce over time, which has shown that the value of these products typically has increased over time. Uh, this isn't a market like crypto that's not tied to anything. This is actually tied to a physical um, item. Right. And as you look at those physical scarce items, they've grown in value faster and grown faster than even the S&P. Scott, before we let you go real quick, has this market volatility, uh, does that mean you will not be going public this year? So I'm not going to comment on speculations or rumors around that. We are 100% focused on execution of the business, which for us, and which we've highlighted today, a focus on the product, the technology around authentication, those standards, continue to expand our business globally and expanding as we have so aggressively into other categories. All right. I've been a customer on more than one occasion, I will say. StockX CEO Scott Culler, thanks so much for taking the time here with us today. Thank you.